You know what, Small? I think something really exciting is going to happen today. What's even more exciting than usual, Ben? Yes, really special. <coughs> oh, hang on. What's this? <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, hey, Small! Oh, oh. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world. Somebody's just left a letter out by the back door. Oh, oh, small! Just as I suspected, something extra fabo dabo exciting is happening. Oh, how exciting! Hello, everyone. Is it from you? Huh? So who's it from? I don't believe this. Oh, this is brilliant. Who's it from, Ben? Oh, oh, Small, it's from Old King Cole. It's an invitation to his party. Ooh -hoo. Ooh -hoo. Ooh -hoo. It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, please come to my party at the palace. The palace? Whoa! Please think of a game that we can all play from Old King Cole. Brilliant! I can't wait for the party. But what sort of game can we take? Hmm. Oh, we could take throw the custard tart. We could make <laughs> lots of custard tart and then wee splat. <laughs> I don't think it's a good idea to throw custard tarts at old King Cole. What if he gets sticky blobs on his royal robes? That would never do. <laughs> hmm. Well, if we can't play throw the custard tart, we... Oh, we could play pass the parcel. But we don't have enough time to make the parcel, Ben. Hmm, you're right. No, we don't. <coughs> Come on, Small. We'll have to think about this later. Sounds like we've got a customer. I'm on my way. Woohoo! <coughs> Who's in the cafe today, Small? Well, it's someone who's big and hairy. <laughs> big and hairy? Hmm. You'll have to give us another clue, Small. She's big and strong, and her ears are long. So she's big and hairy and strong, and her ears are long. Hmm. And here's one more clue. She says, Eeaw, eeaw. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. It's Daphne the donkey. You're right, Ben. I wonder what a donkey would like to eat. I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One day I decided to go to the seaside. It was a lovely day and there were donkeys on the beach giving children rides. They were having great fun. Then I spotted a very sad looking donkey. She was staring into a shop window. The shop was selling colourful rock, candy floss and boiled sweets. The donkey told me her name was Daphne and she just loved looking at all the colourful sweets in the shop. Oh, they looked so inviting, so pretty and shiny she said. But Daphne was a clever little donkey. She knew that the sweets would be bad for her teeth, so all she could do was stare at the lovely colours. Then I had an idea. I took Daphne along the street to another shop window, a shop that sold fruit and vegetables. Oh, how pretty, said Daphne. All those lovely shapes and colours. I went into the shop and bought some vegetables. First, I gave Daphne a stick of celery. It's so munchy and crunchy and green, exclaimed Daphne. Munch, 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 munch. Next, I gave Daphne a red pepper. I love the colour red and it's so shiny. She gobbled it up, licking her lips. Finally, I handed her a long, juicy carrot. Scrummy, yumptious, so pretty and orange. Eeyaw, eeyaw, Daphne. That was my favourite. I didn't know about this shop with the lovely colourful vegetables in the window and they're really good for my big teeth. 
I knew something else that would be good for her teeth. A toothbrush. She could keep her teeth extra healthy by brushing them after every meal. To say thank you, Daphne took me for a donkey ride on the beach. It was brilliant! Woohoo! Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure! So Daphne the donkey discovered the yumminess of vegetables thanks to you, Little Cook! Way! And now she's eating lots of vegetables. Her teeth are staying nice and healthy too. But we still don't know what to cook for her. Hmm. I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course! The Big Cookery Book! There's recipes for everything in there! And where do we look for things to cook? In the book! In the book! In Big Cook's Book! Hey, look at this! It's perfect! Munchy Crunchy Carrot! A donkey's dream! Come on then, little cook! You read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them! <laughs> OK, let's see. We're going to need onion. Onion over here. In there. Yep, got the onion. Carrot. Here we go as well. Carrots. Donkeys love carrots. Celery. Celery in the fridge. There we go. Nice and green. Got the celery. Water. Oh, we can get that from the tap later. Vegetable stock cubes. Oh, that should be over in the cupboard. Here we go. Got those small. Olive oil. In the cupboard as well. Yep. And rice. Rice, rice. Oh, here we go. Basmati rice. Right. Everything we need for the recipe. Small. I've always wondered where basmati rice comes from. So have I. Well, why don't you whiz off and find out and I'll get everything ready. That's a great idea, Ben. See you later. <laughs> hey, why don't you come along too? Way! Go small, go small, whiz away. I wonder what he'll see today. I'm in India. These are fields where pure basmati rice is grown. These are the nursery fields. The man is planting rice seeds. When the seeds grow, the stalks are moved to water-flooded paddy fields. The plant is ready to pick. Once picked, the plant is banged against metal drums. This gets the rice out of the stalks. The rice is then loaded onto carts and taken to be sold. This man is checking the rice grain by rubbing it in the palm of his hand. The rice will be dried and then packed to be sent to the shops. I'd better get back to the cafe. I was wondering if old King Cole might want to play Keep the Balloon Up in the Air. Way! I'm back! And I found out all about Basmati rice. It grows in water-flooded fields. Oh, well, I never knew that. Ben, what are you doing with that balloon? Well, I thought we could teach old King Cole how to play Keep the Balloon Up in the Air. It's my favourite game, and whenever I play... Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to tie the knot. <laughs> ben, I think we'd better start cooking. You're right, little cook. Off we go. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Jelly boats and pirates gold, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruity smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat.
Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All clean and ready to cook. Do you remember the ingredients to munchy crunchy carrot? You do. There was onion. One, finely chopped. Carrot. One, medium sized, chopped. Celery. One stick, chopped, and the leafy bit is for the decoration. Water. One litre. Vegetable stock cubes. One. Olive oil. Two tablespoons. And rice. 125 grams. We're using basmati rice. Whoopee! Let's get started! I've heated one tablespoon of the oil in a frying pan. Now this is a job for your grown-up helper to do because it's a hob job. And remember, the hob is hot, hot, hot. When the oil is nice and hot, add the onion and cook it until it's nice and soft. Mmm! It's the smell of onion cooking again! Whoopee! Now I'm still trying to think of a game we can play at Old King Cole's party. Mmm, so am I. Oh, I know, I know! Musical chairs! When the music starts, you have to dance all around the chairs. And when the music stops, you have to sit on the nearest chair. But if you can't find a chair to sit on, it means you're out! <laughs> But kings don't usually sit on ordinary chairs, they sit on thrones. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Thinking up a party game for the king is more difficult than I thought. Now I've made a litre of vegetable stock by putting the stock cube into the boiling water. And I'm just giving it a final stir to get rid of all the lumps. There we go. Our onions are nice and soft now, so I'm going to pour the stock in. In it goes. And then add the rice. Bring it back to the boil. It'll take about 20 minutes to cook, so keep stirring it until all the water has been soaked up by the rice. This is ready now, so I'm going to take it off the heat, pop it down there, and then ask your grown-up helper to put the rest of the oil into another frying pan and heat it up. Then I'm going to fry the chopped celery and the chopped carrots. Don't add the leafy bit of the celery, because we'll need that later. Mmm, the sizzling now. I like the word sizzle, because it sounds like it's sizzling. Sizzle. <laughs> yes, it does, doesn't it? I've never thought of it like that before. Sizzle. Keep the celery and the carrots sizzling away until they go soft. That's looking good. It smells good too. Oh yes, it does smell delicious, doesn't it, Small? Right, now it's time to mix the carroty mixture with the rice. So, I'm going to pour that in there. There we go. And then bring this over to the heat. Give it a stir around. We still haven't thought of a party game. Does that mean we're not allowed to go to Old King Cole's party? Well, not unless we think of something quick, Small. You keep thinking, and I'll finish our munchy crunchy carrot. OK. Hmm. It's cooked now, so our munchy crunchy carrot is almost ready. We just need to spoon the mixture onto a plate and then mould it into a carrot shape. That's a good carroty shape, Ben, but it would look even better if you put the celery leaves on top. Ah, yes. Here we go. In there. And there. Oh, great. 
It looks just like a real carrot. That looks delicious. Let's get it through to Daphne the donkey while it's still hot. Uh, Small, weren't you supposed to be thinking up a party game for us? You haven't forgotten, have you? Whoops! <laughs> 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 OK, one munchy crunchy carrot coming through. There, all done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam My name's Ben And my name's Small We've got the cleanest kitchen of all Tidy all the bits and bobs The things that help us do our job Ingredients we'll put away Ready for use another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while Well, we're all dressed up for the party, but we still haven't thought of a game to play. Don't worry, Ben. We'll just have to keep on thinking. And look! Here comes the plate. Oh, yes! It looks like Daphne enjoyed her munchy, crunchy carrot. Look, Small. She's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? <laughs> Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben, and little cook small. My munchy crunchy carrot was scrumptious. Woohoo! I heard you were having some trouble thinking of a game to play at Old King Cole's party. To say thank you, I've made you the perfect game. Stick the tail on the donkey. Have fun from Daphne the donkey. Small, look at this! Oh, oh, oh. she's given us the perfect game. Way! Whoopee! Stick the tail on the donkey! That's brilliant! Come on then, Small, let's give it a try! I'll put the blindfold on. OK, I remember this one. Now, first of all, you have to start spinning. OK, I'm spinning, Small! Now stop and stick the tail on the donkey. I've done it! I've done it, Small! Oh, where's the tail? I thought I'd stuck it on the donkey. It's stuck on me! Eh -oh, eh -oh. <laughs> now I've got a top hat and tail. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to practice. Come on, Ben. Let's go to the palace for the party. Hey, see you soon. See you soon.